Howdy folks, I am back with another unboxing today. Here it is. And this is a new instrument for me. Not just new meaning I just got it, but new. I've never owned one of these before. This should be one of the ocarinas from Ocarina Wind. So here it is and it's Amazon envelope glory. We'll get it out of here. So that's the only thing in the in the envelope here and here it is so we can see the uh, ocarina wind logo there on the box this is one of their ocarinas and if you're not sure what an ocarina is um neither am i no i'm kidding it is a i did a little bit of research on it it is a mesoamerican instrument uh meaning uh associated with like the aztec and mayan type cultures um or societies i should say uh, but it's contested because apparently there was a very similar instrument found in China that was much, much older, so it could actually have uh, Asian, or Asian origins as well. Um, but apparently when the European, you know, uh, settlers were coming back and forth, somewhere along the way it got transferred to Europe and then uh, had, had certainly got used all over Europe as well. But uh, anyway, it's a wind instrument, and let's take a look. Here we go. Voila. Okay. So inside the box, we have a pouch of some sort. Let's pull this out. Oh, and a book. So let's see here. We got a Ocarina songbook here, it appears. So I'll put that to the side for a second. And let's see what's in here. So here is the pouch or the case, whatever you want to call this. It looks, it's pretty heavy. I mean, this has got some some uh, padding to it. So that's nice because I know these are typically ceramic. So nice to have a little transportable way. And here we go. Oh, there's a strap in there. Okay. All right. So put the case to the side. Here we go. So here is the ocarina. And this is, uh, again, uh, from Ocarina Wind, which the company also makes... Uh, they make tongue drums and hand pans and several other instruments as well besides just ocarinas. By the way, there are some people that pronounce it ocarina and some people that pronounce it ocarina. I don't know which one is correct, so I'm just going to call it an ocarina because it looks like ocarina to me. But uh, here it is. So this is a 12 hole. And what that means, I don't know how well this is going to show up, but you've got two holes on the bottom there. This is the sound hole. And then you've got two uh, finger holes on the bottom. And then on the top, you have 10 finger holes. And you can see a couple of them, this one and this one are really, really small. Those during normal uh, um, fingering, those both stay open. So in a normal fingering, you would do this. And so those two little ones would still stay open. Hopefully you can see that. And you would just put your, uh, you know, four fingers of each hand over the respective four holes and then your thumbs We'll cover the two on the bottom. And that is basically how you play it. Um, and then of course, like any wind instrument, as all the holes are open, you're going to get a higher tone. And then as you close them, you're going to get a lower tone until all the holes are plugged. And that's gonna be the lowest tone that it produces. So I personally have never played one of these before. Um, so we're about to find out how difficult is this thing to play. So uh, let's see. Okay, it's remarkably easy to play. Um, that is literally my first time playing uh, Ocarina, and so it's pretty simple. Um, as I mentioned, you just cover these holes and you remove them. The guide here has a quick, uh, tells you exactly how to play the um, major scale. So that's basically what I use there. I didn't use all the notes, but that's basically how I put that together there. And it's, it's pretty simple to play. Now, I don't know a lot about these. I've read just a little bit, but this one appears to be some sort of a ceramic or clay. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely some sort of a ceramic. It appears to be really well made from what I can see. Um, everything looks really nice. The finish is nice and smooth. I don't see any like uh, rough edges or seams or, or um, like dings. 
or anything. It looks really nice. It's a little dirty now from my fingers. Again, it comes with this little carry case, which I really like. And so we can just slide that in there. And you know what? I didn't try out the strap. Let's try that out. Okay, so the strap's kind of neat. It's kind of like a little beaded necklace, if you can see that. It's got some little decorations on it. And then you just thread it through the ocarina there. And then I'm gonna take my hat off here to put it on. But then it allows you to put it over your head like such, and you can wear it around your neck. So that when the tune grabs you, you can just kind of pick it up and put your fingers over the holes. If I can remember how to play it now, or how to hold it. And so one other thing to note here, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but there right here on the, the front of the ocarina, there is the Ocarina Wind logo right there. And then beneath it, you see AC. That stands for Alto Range Key of C, which that's what this is considered. There are various different ranges. There are bass ocarinas and, and other ones. And then of course there are ones that are in different keys. Um, I'm not the expert on all that, obviously, since this is the first time I've played one, but that's what that indicates. Um, again, here is the box, and the model number is MUS265778. If anybody is curious and getting one of those for themselves. But overall, this looks like a really great ocarina. You can get these from Amazon. They're $13.95, so extremely affordable, at least at the time um, of this, you know, this video. They're they're about $14. So quite affordable little instrument and quite well made actually um sounds good and pretty easy to play so there you go if you're curious get yourself one of these start in the ocarina